Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm going to begin with these gingerbread men. They're made out of wood and I'm going to go in with some of the apple barrel paint in the color nutmeg. And now I'm going to take some of this fabric that I found at the Dollar Tree Crafter Square and I'm just going to place these gingerbread men on there and snip off the excess. And now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and place a Mod Podge on the backs of the gingerbread men and place them on the fabric like this. Now I'm going to snip off one because I'm going to try and burn the fabric off like I do the tissue and the napkins and you guys will get to see what happens. There's a few of you have been asking me to try it so I'm going to try it. Sure, yeah I'll try it. Okay so here I cut off as much as I can. And now here is the flame and there it goes. And yes, it's actually working. But in this case, I don't, don't really like the burnt effect because now my cookie looks burnt. <laughs> no, <laughs> so I'm not gonna do this. Okay, so now I'm, I'm flipping over this whole piece of fabric and placing some more Mod Podge until it's real stiff. And now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut them out as closely as I can to the wood and if you add enough Mod Podge this will work easily and beautifully without all the frayed edges. So now anything extra that's on there I'm just going to use my finger sander or an emery board and sand off anything that's left. And now they're ready for embellishing my projects. Now here's another DIY real quick and this one involves some wrapping paper. I'm just going to cut out these little gingerbread men and now I'm going to take some of this faux leather from the Dollar Tree and the wrapping paper was also from the Dollar Tree from last year. And I'm just going to open this up, smooth it out, and I'm going to go in with some of the Mod Podge, give it all, all a nice thick layer, nice and thick. And I'm going to use my favorite Mod Podge brush, which is actually a makeup brush from the Dollar Tree. And here's how you want it, nice and thick. And now here it is, nice and dry. And here I'm going to snip off a section because I wanna make sure this is going to work. And I saw something similar done by Lisa Marie over at Crafting My Best Life with Lisa Marie. And she used some watermelon cutouts from a Dollar Tree calendar and glued it onto some faux leather. And she truly inspired me and I thought, oh, I think I can do this with some gingerbread wrapping paper. And sure enough, it worked perfectly the way I tried it. It worked very, very nice. So I'm just going to do my typical ironing with my, easy, my mini easy press. And yes, look at this. It is totally fused onto this faux leather. Now all I have to do is just cut them all out and I do end up doing a real fussy cut, which means real detailed cutouts and no background left. But look at the back, perfect. So here they are, ready for my DIY. So I'm just going to flip them over on my table and now I'm taking these little beads that I have and I'm just going to glue them onto the backs of their heads. And this idea I got from Sarah of Jujube DIY, who is collaborating with me today in this video. So a little bit more about her a little bit later. So now I'm also going to use these peppermint beads. They're from Amazon and they are wood. And I'm just going to take some jute twine and put a knot between each of the beads in this manner. So there's a knot on each side of the bead just to keep them in place. Now this one here, I'm doing it a little bit different, but it's better just to make the knot ahead of time and then add the bead and then add the next knot. So just kind of place it like this and then make your knot, get it as close to the bead, the peppermint bead, and this will hold the bead in place in this manner. And I don't use knots for the gingerbread men. For the most part, they stay because of their weight, but look how cute. Here's how they look and a closer look at the fun reveal. For DIY number two, I picked up a pack of wooden doors and windows from Amazon and I'm going to use all these and I'm going to go in with a white apple barrel paint and some puffy paint and paint them and I'll show you those a little bit later. And now I'm going to take these four arrows and I'm going to snip off all the pieces that are on there including the staples and everything and I'm going to use four of these wood planks and I'm just going to adhere them with some Elaine's Tacky glue 
I love using the tacky glue for wood pieces that are not painted. If they're painted, I will go ahead and use regular wood glue, but if it's not painted, the Elaine's tacky glue works perfectly. So I'm just going to add a nice bead of glue and I'm going to set it on the side of one of these arrows, remove the excess glue, and I'm going to stand it up to allow it to dry. So here are four of them, all done. Now I put them all together, I didn't show that part, but basically you're just making a box. And now I picked up two more of these planks and I'm going to cut them in half. And now I'm going to finish off the top part because the original planks were not long enough for these arrows. But cutting two in half will be, have, will be plenty for these two, what are gonna be tall houses, townhouses, gingerbread townhouses. Say that real quick five times. <laughs> So I'm just going to place it as best I can and remove the excess glue, just wipe it down. And this Elaine's Tacky Glue will actually set up pretty quickly. So it's really a great way to do this. And if you happen to not have it the way you want it, you still have some time to fix it if you need to. You're not committed like hot glue is. So yeah, I think it's wonderful. So here I have them all done. I went ahead and did all four sides like this and now I'm going to take two more of these wooden planks and I'm going to cut these in half as well because I'm going to finish off the tops so these will be like the roof the roofs well I can't say that <laughs> so here I'm going to add some more of the Elaine's tacky glue and I'm going to place it and it fits perfectly and for this one because I'm impatient and I don't feel like sitting here for five minutes to hold it I'm going to actually dry this with my heat gun, which is a great option if you know you want it in that spot. Just take your heat gun and blow it dry. Yeah, it don't take long. Like this is actually how long it took me. Then I went ahead and did the other side, finished it the same way. And for the last one, I just placed a heavy bottle of paint on top of it to help hold, hold everything in place overnight. That way all the glue cures and everything's nice and strong. You'll see here where I place the bottle of paint. See, right here, just place it on there. Here's the next day, look at this, beautiful little houses. And now I'm gonna go in with some of the apple barrel paint and the color nutmeg, which I use throughout this whole video, as well as this white puffy paint, this 3D paint, and everything will be linked in my description box. So I just go ahead and go through all the outlines of this little house. I do a full thorough job. I do all the front, the back, the sides. I even do some embellishing on the roofs themselves. In this manner, I just do some diagonal lines. I don't show the other diagonal lines that I do. I do like a crisscross because I waited, I had to wait overnight for this to, to dry. It was a lot of paint. But I did do the other side, as you can see here. So here's a great start. So now I'm going to embellish with some of this white rickrack. I thought this would be different. And I like the way the rickrack shows. You don't have to do too much with more paint when you use rickrack. So I'm just going to measure here how much I need. And I'll just adhere everything with hot glue and my detailed glue gun. That way it doesn't put out too much glue. And look how cute. And now I'm going to do some more embellishing. And I'm just going to begin with a nice big peppermint, plastic peppermint from Amazon. Place it on the very top and some little bows that I made from some ribbon from Walmart. And I'll place those, one on each side. And then I'm going to add my little door. Just add it with some glue, place it on the bottom. And then I'm going to use a smaller peppermint for the doorknob, that's quite a big doorknob. <laughs> and a little wreath that I made out of some vine, plastic vine and a little bow and just secure that with another dab of glue. And then the little windows, I'll do a little square window above the door. And here I'm just having fun, just kind of decorating the way I want. And a little circle up top, because the windows up top are usually circle. And then I just do one little one on the side, and I'll do the back side as well. So here's the back, here's the front, and I do this to both. So now I'm gonna add two big peppermints up top and now here I picked up this pack of this is actually nail art for your fingernails because they're teeny tiny but I saw those teeny tiny little peppermints and I thought oh these would be cute on the roof 
So I'm just going to use these to outline the roof and just go on the bottom and the sides. And here's how they look and the closer look at the final reveal. This video is a part of It's Christmas in July, Let's Get Baked. And Sarah from GGB DIY is joining me today. Here is a preview of her channel. She's got tons of gingerbread videos that she did last year and the year before. So definitely check it out when you're done watching my video. Click on the link in my description box. It'll take you to her video today and enjoy her video and enjoy her channel. She is very talented and let her know that I sent you. For DIY number three, I'm going to use what used to be a mermaid house from the shore living section and I just painted it with some of the nutmeg paint. Now I'm taking this silicone mold that I got from Amazon and I'm just going to fill it up with some hot glue and I do three rows and then set this aside, allow it to dry and then I'm just going to peel these off. They come off very easily. And I'm going to go in with these two colors, the red and the white, paint them, and I'll show you those a little bit later. And here I'm going to go ahead and start embellishing. So I'm adding the little roof part that I painted with some of the puffy paint. And then I'm gonna add a peppermint on the very top. It's, it's the look that I like. And I'm going to add a little door on the bottom and the center. And now I'm going to use another peppermint for the doorknob. And I'm going to add two candy canes, one on each side of the door. And I'm just going with the flow, just enjoying this time of embellishing. I usually don't show too much of all the embellishing because it takes me a while. But I thought this is just too cute. I got to include all, include all this. So here are the little windows. And now I'm going to go in with some of the puffy paint and do some outline. Finish off the edges, the, the lines here. So I just go down both sides of the roof line and around the door and adding the extra paint around the door kind of makes the door look a little bit bigger too so that was perfect because this house was a little bit more wide than the other house it's definitely wider so here I'm just going to finish off this side here and then I'm gonna do the little bit of the roof line that's here it's not much but I thought it would look cute to do a little bit of diagonal lines on it. So I just do these tiny little lines and I do both sides, of course. So I'm just turning it around. Yeah, I think I left too much of all this in here, <laughs> but you know, wanted you guys to see. So I'm just going to add some more frosting, full frosting and do some more lines. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm almost done. But then I realized I forgot something. Oh my goodness, I forgot these sticks, these glue sticks. <laughs> so I'm having to use my heat tool and soften up all the glue that's on these candy canes to remove them. It did a perfect job. It, everything came off pretty easily. And I just used some other tools to remove any excess wads of glue that's on there. And yeah, if you use your heat tool and a scraper or a spatula, yeah, you can remove hot glue. So now here, I wanted to use these for the sides of this house. So I'm going to measure how much I need and I'm going to adhere them with some hot glue. So yes, I'm going to glue some hot glue <laughs> with hot glue. <laughs> so here I do one on each side. Now look how much brighter this looks. Oh yes. And I'm going to add the excess pieces that I had on the very bottom. And this will also help it stand better. So here, I'm just going to add that, or should I say add these? And now I can add my little candy canes back on. So I take them, add more hot glue, and adhere them to the sides where I wanted them. Now it's looking really cute. Now I just need a little wreath for the door. Definitely needs a little wreath. Oh, some little bows too. And these little bows on the tops. That's definitely my theme, peppermint stripes. Here's the little wreath, just like the first two from the other project. And look how cute, adorable. And here's how it looks, and a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number four, I'm going to take this pack of wooden trees. This I believe came from Dollar General from last year. 
and I'm just going to paint these in the nutmeg brown from Apple Barrel and I'm just going to assemble these like normal like it, like they're supposed to be assembled and I'm just going to use some of the same puffy paint and I'm just going to go along all the sides in this manner and I do this to all three and I do it to all sides like this and now look how adorable they're looking they're looking like fresh gingerbread trees and I'll add a nice glob of this 3d paint on the very tops of the trees because I'll be nestling these little peppermints on top when this all dries and sets so not yet let's let this dry and here are the three little peppermints and here's how they look in the closer look at the fine reveal for DIY number five I'm going to take two of these flower pots from the Dollar Tree and three of these smaller ones also from the Dollar Tree and this is going to be two different DIYs here I'm going to paint everything with the nutmeg brown by Apple Barrel inside and outside and now I'm going to start off with the two big ones and I'm just going to take some more of this puffy paint and I'm just going to create these kind of scallop swirls and go all the way around and I do this to both of the little pots this one I decided to put on my hand instead and go around and it doesn't have to be perfect because remember this is supposed to be faux frosting and faux frosting or icing faux icing is not perfect so just go with the flow now once this all dry I'm going to adhere both of these together on top of each other in this manner and now I'm going to take some of this ribbon from Walmart and I'm going to create a little scarf out of this ribbon so yes we are creating a gingerbread snowman <laughs> yeah there is such a thing you're seeing it right now right before your eyes <laughs> so I'm just going to place this on there and do a little dab of glue here and there to help adhere it keep it in place hold it down with my fingers so that way I can not lose my spot and then I'll go ahead and anchor these onto the pots themselves I don't want them kind of flying around I want them in a certain spot so I'll adhere this and I'll do the same to the back keep everything nice in place in this manner look how cute so now I'm going to use some of these little buttons and I'm going to layer one on top of the other a red on top of a white again I'm going for that peppermint theme I love the peppermint theme with gingerbread that's just one of my things I love it so here these are going to be their little buttons or his little buttons and I'm going to place them on there just three in a row looking cute and I'm just going to take this Sharpie paint marker and I'm going to draw the eyes and I'm just doing some ovals nothing fancy something just something super simple until I get them to look more or less uniform <laughs> and now I'm going to do the little smile and the little eyebrows just super simple and I'm going to take a little bit of this white paint and a bamboo skewer just to highlight the pupils of the eyes look how adorable you could do so much with this little guy but I'm going to take a styrofoam ball one that fits in there and adhere it to the top and I'm going to fill it up with these plastic candy canes but you can do real candy you can do flowers I do add some other greenery to it you'll see it in a minute here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number six I'm going to take the other three pots and I'm going to take some smaller styrofoam balls from the Dollar Tree and you could actually use ping pong balls too which I was going to use but my wonderful grandson decided to play with them <laughs> so here I'm just going to place them on a bamboo skewer to paint them easily and I go and do a full paint job on them with the nutmeg paint here I'm allowing them to dry and here are some wooden beads that are pretty large size so I'm going to use these for their little arms and I'm going to fill in the holes with just just some glue just to fill them up real quick and allow that to set and once that sets then I'm going to go ahead and paint those and I do the swirls as well with the puffy paint now I'm going to adhere all the little heads onto the little bodies these are going to be three little maids in a row 
super cute little gingerbread gals and now I'm going to add the little arms which are the beads and I'll place one on each side and I do this to all three look how adorable oh my goodness I just can't and again I'm going to use some more of these buttons I found this cute pink button going out of my red and white but just one pink button and then I'm going to use these other buttons and placing them for their front the little dresses and now I'm going to take some of this red and white gingham ribbon and do some bows for the for the little dresses to be really cute and of course dovetail all the ends and I just adhere them to the top of their little dresses under their necks look how adorable and now I'm going to use this pink and this black and I'm going to work on their faces I couldn't use my paint markers on these because of the texture of the styrofoam so I'm just going to use the end of my paintbrush and the black paint and create the little eyes then I use a regular sharpie for the eyebrows and little pink for their cheeks and I just use a tiny little brush to make some little rounds to put on their little cheeks make them look super cute and then I go ahead and go back in with the black paint to do the mouths and I had to do it a couple times because again the texture on the styrofoam was a challenge and I also add some bows for the tops of their heads and here's how they look and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number seven I'm going to take this pack of a sleigh it's in a kit I believe this was also from Dollar General so all the pieces are wood and I'm just going to go in with my nutmeg brown of course give it that gingerbread look and I'm going to assemble this it's pretty easy to assemble you just have to kind of line everything up and you have to kind of push it in a little bit but it works it's cute so I get these two lined up and placed like this kind of push it in there <laughs> and yeah there's three pieces that have to go in first and now line up this other piece and with this piece I ended up getting my rubber mallet to help get everything on there I couldn't just push it in there it was a little bit too difficult so here's my little rubber mallet and away we go <laughs> but yeah it works great look at that super cute and now we can start embellishing this cute little sleigh so I'm going to take this pack of spackle and some of this white paint by Apple Barrel and I'm going to pour a bunch of paint inside this spackle cup and I don't know I didn't measure but I just poured a bunch of it in there and I'm taking a craft stick mixing it all up and now I'm taking this piping bag that I got these I got these from the Dollar Tree and some of these little tips I end up getting the star tip which is the only one I think I really know how to use if that <laughs> I use <laughs> know how to use very loosely okay <laughs> so here I'm just placing this in the bag slipping off the end and now placing it in this little cup to help hold it in place and pouring all this mixture inside my piping bag and everything I know here is from watching others I don't frost cakes I don't know how to decorate cakes <laughs> but <laughs> if I can do this guys you can do it too yes you can so here I'm just lifting up the bag and kind of pushing everything down and twisting the top or the chest yes yeah, the top and now I'm going to go for it I'm just going to start giving it that frosted look that really de decadent and thick frosting look and I'll just do the main parts with this stuff because this stuff is pretty thick and I end up finishing up the rest with just some of the puffy paint so yeah I think as I just get these two sides done and then I'll continue with the puffy paint because it just got too thick to go all the way around and all the little nooks and crannies but that's okay as long as the main portion has this puffy thick icing frosted look uh, it was good for me I think it's cute look at that and here it is nice and dry and now here I'm taking the puffy paint and I'm just going to use this for the rest of it to embellish all the little swirls to go along the sides the, all the curves and all all the little details on this cute little sleigh 
and I'll do both sides of course and look how adorable this is so cute so here it is I did everything all the anything that had a gap got some of the puffy paint now I'm going to start embellishing and I'm going to use some more of these small peppermints and I'll put these where I assembled the sleigh just to hide all that and then I do a big one on the other on the front side where the other piece was assembled and then I'm just going to embellish with some of these big bows one on each side and look how adorable and of course I'm going to do a little wreath put that in the front because you gotta have a little wreath and then I filled the inside with some florals and some gingerbread men and here's how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal for DIY number eight I'm going to use these two little houses from Dollar General they're just like house form tags and this dowel that was from a macrame hanger that I used in another previous DIY and three of these wood planks and of course I'm going to go in with the nutmeg paint give them all a good paint job and now since these are painted I'm going to go ahead and do the wood glue this time and I'm just taking my paintbrush and go along the sides along the edges and I'm going to use a little dab of glue on each side and I'm just going to adhere this to one of the sides of my bottom plank and I go ahead and do this to the other side as well same way a little bit of wood glue place it on there and now I'm going to remove some of these beads that were on the existing home tags and I'm going to swap them out with some of these new beads from the Dollar Tree because they are in a brown do this to both and now I'm going to secure the little house shapes on the sides and I just do the, the wood glue again with my paintbrush and place the little house shape on each side. And this works perfectly. Look how adorable. So just place it on there. Allow this to set. Put a heavy bottle of glue on top. And now I'm going to go in with some more of this whipped <laughs> spackle. <laughs> and I'm just going to go for it. And I'm going to do just the two sides because again it's too thick it won't go along all the little detailed ends or edges so I do the puffy paint on the other sides now here is the little dowel this is again this was from a macrame hanger from the Dollar Tree that I used that for something else I didn't use this dowel so here I'm just taking some real thin cute ribbon and just going along and I'm going to adhere the ends with some hot glue, secure them in place, and I'm going to push this through, which was a little bit of a challenge because of the ribbon, but it still worked. So look at this, it's a little toolbox, yes! So here's another piece of this hot glue uh, piece that I made with the silicone molds, and I painted it in the white and the red, and I just put that on the bottom. I should have made two, but I don't know. I don't know why I think about it. So now I'm just going to add two more of these candy canes to the sides of the houses, the house forms or house shapes. And I just place them for a little bit of embellishment. And now I'll add a nice big bow to the front. This is the front of the toolbox. I was going to create some kind of a message with my Cricut, but I'm just going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to add a nice peppermint in the center. And this is how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number nine, I'm going to take these two mugs that I picked up from Target and these two wood pieces that I painted white. And I'm going to take one of these larger foam balls or not foam, star foam. And I'm going to use my scraper to cut it in half in this manner, push it down and then cut it open, make sure it's nice and level. And I'm just going to adhere these foam halves onto these wood rounds. And these wood rounds were from Walmart. And I'm going to now take some more of this spackle frosting, since I, I didn't have much left, but I thought I want to do something with it. So I'm just going to go around this foam half, this ball, and I'm just going to create a full whip topping and just go around and I do this to both. Try to make it as decadent as I can. 
and it was starting to dry up on me so I was it was a little bit of a challenge but I think it still came out cute and I just had just enough for the two so now here I'm taking one of these straws cutting it in half sticking it sticking it into my whip topping my full whip topping and I'm going to use some of these glass beads from the Dollar Tree and I use some black ones and some brown ones to kind of replicate sprinkles or some kind of a decadent topping and my spackle was already drying so I had to take my spray bottle of water and just kind of dampen it a little bit and now everything was able to adhere a little bit better so that's a little hack if your spackle dries up a little bit it's drying up too quickly just wet it a little bit it'll it'll work here they are nice and set look how cute oh my god these are so adorable and here's how they look and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number 10 I'm going to take one of these hot cocoa decor pieces from last year and this was from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove this tea light but it's a little bit stuck in there so I'm going to use my heat gun again and just gently put some heat on it not too much because I don't want to melt the plastic but yeah it was just enough to soften the glue and get the tea light out and of course I'm going to paint it with the Apple Barrel Paint and Color Nutmeg. And since it's painted, I'm going to use my wood glue again and brush it on all the edges where it's supposed to be adhered together. And I do add a little dab of hot glue here and there just for that instant hold. But you can skip this part if you don't want to. You could just set something heavy on top and allow it to dry naturally. And I think it looks so much better painted on the inside and now I'm going to take some of these gingerbread men that I made in DIY number one just to do some embellishing and I'm just going to adhere them with a little bit of hot glue and yes this DIY is super simple super easy it's just basically embellish embellishing something already pre-made and put the little tea light back on and here's how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal now this is a bonus DIY to help tie everything together and I'm just taking this galvanized sign from the Dollar Tree, removing the cute twine that's holding it. And I'm going to take some of this baker's twine, this red and white baker's twine, and securing it with a knot. And then I'm going to wrap some around this jute twine, kind of like twisting it in this manner, and securing the other end with another knot and placing the jute twine back on to the sign. Now once I get this done, I'm going to take some burlap fabric and I'm just going to add some Mod Podge to adhere it. And I'll take some of the Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown paint and with my chunky chippy brush, I'll do a little dry brushing along all the edges and the whole perimeter of this little sign just to give it a little depth of color. And now with my Cricut, I created this saying of course let's get baked and this will go in my kitchen how adorable and then of course I'll seal it all up with some more Mod Podge and then I'll embellish with a nice big bow on the very top and my last two little gingerbread men the burnt one <laughs> he'll go on the left side <laughs> and then the little girl will go on the right side and that is it and here's how they look and a closer look at the fun reveal. If you're on Instagram, here is my Instagram QR code. Here's my QR code for TikTok. I do have a Facebook group. And here is my Pinterest and all the pins that I have in there. And now we're at the final reveal. Let me know what you guys think.
I want to take a moment and thank Sarah from Jujubee DIY for collaborating with me and creating some Christmas in July DIYs in the gingerbread theme. I had a lot of fun creating for our Let's Get Baked collaboration and I can't wait for you guys to watch her video as well. I know she's going to make something very beautiful. She's very talented and loves gingerbread like I do. So definitely when you're done watching this video, head on over to my description box, click the link to her video and also enjoy her channel and the playlist that she has for her gingerbread it's fantastic I've watched it and I love it and also we have another collaboration coming up on July 15th with gingerbread ornaments so yeah that'll be fun so don't forget that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and if you want to see more definitely subscribe and until my next video on july 15th with gingerbread ornaments stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day bye bye